Shalom Israel. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. And I want to entitle this lesson, Lord willing, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Decepticons or Transformers shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. And this video is going to be based off of the elders' video. Which is called Malik Yoba, Malik Yogurt, which his actual name is Malik Yoba, but the elder call him Malik y Yogurt because you know he messes around with transformers or trannies and the feminization of the so called black man. And he was getting down in the spirit, man. He was uh, actually played this this uh, video of this guy, Malik Yoba, uh, Yoba, and he was on the phone with um, Judge Joe Brown, and Judge Joe Brown was basically. He was, uh, 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 you know, reproving him. You know, that homo, uh, trannies are, are men. And if you mess around with a trainee, you're a homosexual. All right, but, you know, of course, he chose not to see it. The elder went into how um, he actually ended up hanging up on, on uh, Judge Joe Brown. All right, and you see they took that video down. But it was an edifying video, man. So much so that the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, um, this is my take on it, man. All right. So again, I want to name this lesson: Decepticons or Transformers shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Okay. And you know, this it stems from that movie, The Transformers, which I'm pretty sure brothers have seen. Um, like they, they they damn near put one out like every year, you know. And in that movie, it always happens to where the Autobots. They end up, uh, you know, winning the war, and the Decepticons are, are, are uh, you know, destroyed, man. They lose the war. All right? And Decepticons, the name tells it all, man. They're deceptive. You know, they come as in a, uh, you know, in a, um, in a friendly manner, but really they're, they're evil, man. All right? You know? These are the evil, uh, uh, these are, they're evil, man. All right, so it says the Decepticons are the main antagonists in the fictional uni universes of the Transformers multimedia franchise. All right, and even in this world, man, what uh, Transformers? These trainees. All right, they are the main antagonists. All right, to to the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, which really all it all goes back to the devil Esau Edom, man, the so-called white man who pushes that. Okay. So it says the Decepticons are the main antagonists in the fictional universe of the Transformers multimedia franchise. All right. It says they are depicted as a faction of sentient ro robotic life forms, which that word sentient means, um, damn, I was just looking it up. It means, uh, uh, sense sensible, I believe. It says from the planet Cybertron led by Megatron. Identified by a purple face like insignia, capable of transforming into alt alternate forms. These are often high tech or powerful vehicles, including aircraft, military vehicles, construction vehicles, expensive luxury or sports cars, and even smaller than human sized objects. Decepticons are a sub race of Cybertronian, a fictional species of sentient self-configuring modular robotic life forms <laughs> it says they are a synergistic blend of biological evolution and technological engineering okay and what are uh uh you know these these uh transformers today man they're the same thing man you might have a man that cut off his rod and get a uh, you know um uh, breast implants or woman who cut uh, who gets a breast removed and, and start taking um testosterone pills to sound uh, more masculine okay they are a synergistic blend of biological evolution and technological engineering the exotic materials that make up their composition is a living metal with a self-replicating cellular structure and genetic code I'm gonna skip this paragraph. Let me see in the Japanese version.
Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm gonna just read through. It says, in the Japanese version of the franchise, this the Decepticons are called the Strong or Deftron. <laughs> the only exception to this naming convention is car robots, where the subgroup referred to as Decepticons and the ro robots in disguise adaption is known in Japan as Combatrons. The overall name of the robots in disguise villain faction is the stronger. However, the Japanese version of the Transformers animated uses Decepticon. As opposed to the Autobots, Supreme Commander, the Primes, the Decepticons' highest ranking leader is often given the title Emperor of Destruction. Alright? Now, isn't the Wicked... All right, Esau Edom and Habakkuk, he's known as what? I mean, actually, I'm gonna just grab it, you know, because he's the highest, he's their higher ranking leader, man. He's the one that gives them orders, he's the one, he's the, he's the one that gives them their, uh, you know, their strength. All right, he's called the Emperor of Destruction, you know, he's gonna be taken out of the way, too. Okay, Habakkuk. Chapter 2, verse 4. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. Alright? And this is the man that pushed. This is the man that uh, advocates pride. This is the man who embodies pride. Wicked pride. His soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. Alright? Because he pushes, uh, you know, he pushes everything against the scriptures. All right, so there's nothing upright about this guy, but the just shall live by his faith. Yet also because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as death. Okay, this is why this man cannot be satisfied. He has wars on all fronts, all throughout the earth. Okay, when yet, you know, his home over here in America is all messed up, you know? But it says, who enlargeth his desires hell, basically meaning, as I said before, you know, he wants to uh, claim every other place as his own. He even wants to go in outer space and claim uh, those so-called planets as his own, you know? That's why he names them after his own, uh, uh, after his own names, man. And is as deaf and cannot be satisfied. All right? So he is as deaf. All right? So it says... As opposed to the Autobot Supreme Commander the Primes, the Decepticon's highest ranking leader is often given the title the Emperor of Destruction. You know, which almost sounds like a, a, a what? The Elzebub, Satan, the devil. You know? That's Esau Eater, man. He's the Emperor of Destruction. Alright? You have uh, the Emperor of Life. Which is Yahweh Shai. Then you have the Emperor of Destruction. Okay. Which is Esau Edom. Beginning with the original gener generation. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, that was it. You know. But hey. As the scriptures say, man. Deuteronomy 23 and 1. Because the Most High, He is very specific on who is going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. You know, He even gives stories of accounts of different men like Jeremiah, Tobit, you know, Elijah, Caleb, Moses, of different men whom He was satisfied with, and those men who He wasn't satisfied with, those who wouldn't receive the um, the kingdom of heaven, and why they wouldn't receive the kingdom of heaven. Deuteronomy twenty three and one. He that is wounded in his stones will have his privy member cut off, meaning that he has his, his uh, dick cut off, shall not enter into the congregation of the Yahweh. Okay? So it don't matter if, you know, an earthly vessel accepts you. The, the thing that matters is if the Most High accepts you. Okay? A bastard shall not enter to, into the congregation of Yahweh even to his 10th generation shall he not enter to the congregation of Yahweh. An Ammonite or Moabite shall not enter to the congregation of Yahweh 
even to the tenth generation, shall they not enter to the congregation of Yahweh forever. Okay? So it is the Lord telling you, all right, that these people are definitely not going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. All right? You don't have to contemplate. You don't have to argue about this fact. This is fact. This is in the scriptures, man. All right? You know? Which they, in, this, in this place, they claim the Bible is the law of the land. All right? So let's, hey, the, the Bible is the law of the land, though. You know? So that goes right there, man. The Septicons or Transformer shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Okay? This is, uh... And the Lord didn't change, man. Now let me grab that, actually. I am... You know, because that's another thing about these, uh... Okay, uh, Hebrews 13 and 8. Yahweh shot the same yesterday, today, and forever. All right, so the Lord is the same, man. All right, and if the Lord had destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah for their wickedness, which they were known as what, you know, Sodom is known for, uh, you know, uh, homosexuality. All right, most likely uh, bestiality, all types of wickedness, and they got destroyed. How much more? Do you think the Most High is going to destroy America, man? Which pushes those things and then and then some, man. All right? They push everything against the scriptures. All right? The scriptures say, uh, uh, thou shalt not, um, you know, the scriptures speak about, um, you know, unrighteous decrees. The scriptures speak about, um, you know, having, uh, basically, uh, holding a man captive. All right? The scriptures speak about usurping, uh, usury upon a man. The scriptures speak against homosexuality. Let's actually grab that. All right, because along with uh, Deuteronomy 23, the Lord actually also says it. He says it a couple times in the book of, in the books of the law, actually. Leviticus 18 and 20. It says, Leviticus 18 and 20 Moreover thou shalt not lie carnally with thy neighbor's wife To defile thyself with her Which Esau pushes uh, Another thing Esau pushes Is adultery And thou shalt not let any of Thy seed pass through The fire to Molech Neither shalt thou profane the name of thy power I am Yahweh Thou shalt not lie with mankind As with womankind It is an abomination There you go Leviticus 20 and 13 If a man also lie with mankind As he lieth with a woman Both of them Have committed an abomination And don't mean lie down Alright uh, Take a nap Alright If a man lie with mankind Basically meaning if a man lies Lay down with another man They commit the acts of uh, Sexuality As he lieth with a woman both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Okay? They shall surely be put to death. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Okay? Nahum chapter 1 verse 3. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power. And will not at all acquit the wicked. The Most High did not at all acquit Sodom and Gomorrah. In which to this very day, as brothers always go into, that sin is still laced with sulfur, man. Alright? So, with the Lord, and that was thousands of years ago. So how much more, do you, how much uh, less of a tolerance you think the Lord has for America? 
You know, like it's like if you do something, like if you have a kid or whatever, you have two kids, all right, and you tell your kids not to do this, this, and this, all right, and then you whoop one of the kids' ass for doing it, and then after you whoop that one kid's ass, the other kid, a few months later, he might do the same thing. You don't think he's gonna get a much sort of punishment because he knew better, he definitely knew better, but he still did anyway. So it says, the Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. Yahweh hath his way in the whirlwind and in the and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. All right, so the Most High will not at all acquit the wicked. All right, and the wicked is all those that uh, go against his word Alright All those that go against his word This is the book of Psalms Chapter 11 verse Eleven verse 5 The Lord trieth the righteous But the wicked and him that loveth violence His soul Hate it. All right, and even in the movie, uh, hey, and even the Transformers movies, man, the Decepticons, they were all about violence, man. All right, they were all about death, and that's what a Transformer is about, man, death. You know, because the Lord put us on this earth to multiply, man, to replenish the earth and multiply, because the earth is made to live upon. All right, you know, but let Esau tell it. You know, which is the 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 emperor of death, the em the emperor of destruction. He'll say the earth is overpopulated. You know, therefore let's push homosexuality, let's push transgenderism. All right, to uh, you know, uh, cut down uh, um the population. The Lord tries the righteous, but the wicked and him that love of violence, his soul hateth. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire. And brimstone, does that not remind you of Sodom and Gomorrah? And in horrible tempest, this shall be the portion of their cup. Okay, so whereas the emperor of destruction will give them reparations, the Lord is going to give them a missile. All right, the Lord is going to put them out of their misery and give them a missile. Okay, the scriptures say, he that hate me love death. You hate righteousness, you love death. Whoever, all uh, right, took down the elders' video, they love death. The Most High is going to kill them. Okay? Upon the wicked, he shall rain snares. All right? The Most High's put these uh, devils, all right, and the ones that followed them in that mindset, man, so he can put them to death. Upon the wicked, he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and in horrible tempest, this shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous Lord love of righteousness, his countenance doth behold the upright. Okay, so the Most High hates wickedness. And we just went into a few examples of what's wickedness. And he loves the upright. He loves righteousness. Wisdom of Solomon 4 and 17. For they shall see the end of the wise or the righteous or the upright. All right. The wise are the ones who took hold of wisdom. The wise are the ones who took hold of the scriptures. And shall not understand what God and his counsel have decreed for him. And to what end Yahweh have set him in safety. Okay. Because you have the righteous that are also here in America. Also known as Sodom, all right. And the but the, but the Most High got them in safety, man. The Most High is definitely going to rain fire and brimstone upon his place, but he's going to have the righteous in safety. They shall see him, and despise him. 
All right. And now it's like. Hey, in this world, it's a, you, you, you the issue. If you, if, uh, if you stand up for righteousness, you, you the issue. If you got a bill in your face, you the issue. All right. If you speak against homosexuality. All right. They even have some called, um, straight lives matter, some bullshit like that. You know, so for, for you to have to say that, meaning what? Uh, uh, the wicked are an authority. The scriptures in Psalms 12 and 8 say, let me just grab it real quick, actually. Psalms 12 and 8. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. Okay? The emperor of destruction is is uh is in office when transformers are set up, when Decepticons are, 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 are ruling the earth, man. You know? Wisdom of Solomon. Let's see. What was that? Four. And 18. They shall see him and despise him. Meaning the wicked. They're going to despise the wise, the righteous. But God shall laugh them to scorn. Just like as a uh, righteous lot, man. He said he was vexed day, day to day with the filthy conversation of the wicked. The scriptures say the Lord knoweth how to deliver the righteous out of destruction and to, to preserve. I'm going to just grab that actually. Second. Peter's. Two. And this actually goes right hand in hand with Wisdom of Solomon 4 and 18. All right, 4 and 17. So lock it. Second Peter's 2 and... and uh, Two and five, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly, and delivered just Lot, vexed with the vexed, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government, presumptuous are they, self-willed, they are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. Okay, it's a lot on this actually. I'm gonna keep going. Whereas angels, which are great in power and might, bring not really accusations against them before the Lord, but these as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. Okay, so this don't really, the Lord, see, proving a point, man. The Lord. Hey, the Lord hates the wicked, man. The Lord hates you Decepticons, man. And all those that are, uh, are in league with them, man. You know, the scriptures say, No hand join the hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. You know, when judgment comes for the wicked and you you holding hands with the wicked, you're liable to get judged too. All right? And that's talking about what you so-called, uh, you so-called, um, quote-unquote, straight men. You know, that don't have no problem, uh, uh, you know, we're hanging, hanging around uh, uh, trannies, man, or lesbos. All right. It says, for he shall rend them and cast them down headlong. That they shall be speechless. And he shall shake them from the foundation. And they shall be utterly laid waste. And be in sorrow. And their memorial shall perish. And when they cast up the accounts of their sins, they shall come with fear. And their own iniquity shall convince them to their face. All right. And now when you fast forward to the end of a Transformers movie, guess what? Guess who won? Every time the Autobots, man. From my recollection. 
All right. Hey, so with that, Lord willing, you, I can edify. Shalom to the elect.